New at five, the U.S. Supreme Court just gave college athletes a big win on the issue of compensation for student athletes. As nine on your sides, Craig Smith reports, one of the justices suggested the court could expand player rights even more. Back to kick number 86, Jake Smith. Jake Smith was a kicker at University of Arizona who stayed in the world of sports as an agent for professional athletes. He's been active in the fight to give college players fair compensation for the talents they bring to the schools they play for. He was happy to see the Supreme Court hand college athletes a 9-0 win, a unanimous ruling for player rights. I think it's just a great day for, for college athletics um, and, and most importantly the athletes that the, the foundation is built upon. The Supreme Court ruled college sports is effectively an industry breaking antitrust law by unfairly suppressing what it pays its workers. The court ruled the NCAA must allow colleges and universities to compensate students beyond the athletic scholarships they offer now, as long as the compensation is still related to athletics. That allows compensation like paid internships and school-related equipment like computers. Justice Brett Kavanaugh agreed but went farther effectively inviting a new case to consider paying players. The NCAA has stuck to the idea student athletes are amateurs, but he said that cannot justify the NCAA's decision to build a massive money-making enterprise on the backs of student athletes who are not fairly the compensated. The argument, which Kavanaugh you know, rightly, uh, rightly realized, was that it's, it's circular, it's unfounded, um, and their whole thing, well, they're amateurs because they don't get paid and we don't pay them because they're amateurs, does not actually apply uh, in the court of Responding to the ruling, U of A Athletic Director Dave Hickey said, quote, we support this ruling because it benefits our student athletes. It provides us the opportunity to determine what are appropriate educational benefits when supporting their progress towards graduation. But Jake Smith can foresee the court ruling in favor of broader issues he's fought for, like payment for a college player when his or her performance makes their image a powerful marketing tool. So we had guys on our team that you know, of no fault of our of our own program, but because of the rules, you know, couldn't really afford to eat or, or live comfortably because they were sending money home and things like that. So so the opportunities that that this provides, uh, you know, you know, the, the coming future is going to be pretty remarkable, pretty great. Craig Smith, KGON 9 on your side. This ruling marks the first time in more than 30 years since the Supreme Court has weighed in on the governance of college sports. Back in 1985, the court upheld a ruling between the NCAA and the Board of Regents of Oklahoma University. The Supreme Court said that the NCAA was breaking antitrust laws by limiting the amount of times that individual schools could be on TV. ESPN says the ruling led to an increase in media rights revenue that has reshaped the top tier of college sports. Meantime, the NCAA has asked for Congress for help in creating a federal name, image, and likeness rights law. Here in Arizona, our NIL state law will go into effect July 23rd. This protects college athletes from being denied a scholarship or eligibility for their sport if they receive NIL-based compensation. There is no provision requiring athletes to disclose endorsement contracts.